Social economics is a huge part of our programme. We've got to ensure that we're leaving a legacy behind with the skills and the workforce that are going to remain in this area to be successful in the next mission in which Caithness and Sutherland has. The Caithness and North Sutherland Regeneration Partnership is a partnership, informal partnership of all the public agencies working together to look at what happens to the economy beyond Dunry decommissioning. We've seen a range of both infrastructure improvements to ports, harbours, um, college, but we've also seen a number of job creation activities. We have achieved, um, between all the partners, about 165 new jobs. Uh, we've been working on a number of projects, including Wick Harbour infrastructure, Scrabster Harbour infrastructure. We're working still with the space project. You see behind us here uh, the development of the Beatrice Wind Farm Operation and Maintenance Base. This is a massive development. Nearly £20 million pounds worth of inward investments taking place due to this project. The next step in the harbour development is the High Water Protection Gate. And that that will support us in encouraging other developers, other vessels to come moor here and actually create the extra 150 jobs by 2020. As we move into the new opportunities, we recognise that skills is going to be an important part. Our apprentices, graduates and a number of people on the site are STEM ambassadors and they help with our educational outreach programme. All our major procurements now, so that's all contracts over half a million pounds, uh, have a socio-economic requirement uh, and the uh, supply chain need to demonstrate to us how they're going to uh, invest and develop in people and facilities in and around uh, Caithness and North Sutherland. Funding isn't all about big investments in the area, sometimes it's about the good neighbour projects. So we provide funding to small organisations in partnership with the Dunry Stakeholder Group. If it wasn't for Dunry and their partners, and there's been many partners, DSRL, Cavendish Nuclear, NDA, uh, we wouldn't be in the position we're in at the moment. I'm really proud of the work that the NDA has done in socioeconomics. Some of the projects that we invested in 10 years ago are now just starting to show real benefits in the area.